Teresa, can you move my 11.30? Only I've got to cover for Martin at something. And you better shift my 12.30 as well. I don't know. The sooner we find that new assistant... How was the one you interviewed on Friday? Well, I thought he was fine, but... Um... Trev, you can't trust a man who shaves his beard in a straight line along his jaw. That's just basic stuff. That'll be your 10.30. OK, can you put me in the meeting room? Marketing people, my favourite. Oh, uh, by the way... Max's dinner party. There might be a few sports starts there, so just don't, um, you know. What? Well, you know, just promise me that you won't try and poach any of them. It makes me uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Yes, like the time you went round trying to poach Jerry Fenton's clients but, at uh, his funeral. I was not poaching, Trev. I was consoling, and as part of that consolation, I asked them to call on me if they needed help, hence the business cards. Yeah, yeah well, tomorrow evening is purely social, so let's just respect that, OK? You are looking at the landmark training shoe for the next 10 years. And we feel that it's your client, Ainsley Travis, who's the sprinter whose personality profile most closely matches the image of this trainer. It's young, fast, it's dangerous, it's the Fokker. The Fokker? Yeah, Fokker. See, it's sort of like a swear word, but it isn't. Which is, you know, kind of rebellious. Right. And you're not worried about the unfortunate association? What association? The Fokker was a Nazi warplane. Oh, yeah, research said something about that, didn't it? I mean, people might feel it's in poor taste. Even better. Publicity, yum yum.